pre-season's nearly over and New Zealand Super Rugby is off to a bang. A launch of a different kind across the ditch, a professional dance troupe proving that Super Rugby players stay, well, stay Super Rugby players. Yeah, I won't quit my day job. Oh yeah, it was fun, but no, it's not my thing, so... <laughs> Wasecki Naholo preferring tries over the tango. His Highlanders have gone from the Hunters to the Hunted after taking out the title in 2015. I think still we'll, we'll be underestimated by a lot of sides. Obviously, um, we don't have the, the, the All Blacks that a lot of teams do. We've got uh, a few more now, but um, certainly uh, our forward pack, there's no All Blacks in that. Nehe Milner Scudder shot into the All Blacks in 2015, his talent fooling no, no one this season. Yeah, that's a challenge for me this year. Couldn't, can't really... Uh, slipping under the radar like, like I did last year and um, nah, that, that makes it exciting for me to just keep getting better and um, try and improve and get um, try and change up the way I play, you know, just to keep keep playing well. Do that and he might keep Israel Dag out of an all-black recall. The fullback now one of the Crusaders most experienced after the departure of Richie McCaw and Dan Carter. You know, obviously you notice that presence not being there but... Like I said to everyone, they, they created a, a legacy for the Crusaders. You know, they won four, three or four titles. They uh, made so many finals, but their legacy is finished now and we've got an opportunity to start our own legacy as this group. It's the same feeling in Auckland, with All Blacks legend Tana Umanga taking the coaching reins at the Blues with one early goal. I think it's just to win our fans back. That's probably our biggest one, you know, put a bit of respect back into our club. You know, I think we've lost a few of our fans uh, just from our results that were put out there. The Chiefs aiming to surge back into title contention, mixing up their regular pre-season training camps by taking them to rural towns. Yeah, we just try to kind of go to as many towns as we can, um, doing our, obviously our training and a little bit of, um, obviously a bit of mud, mud runs and stuff like that that we've, um, that we've got into. <laughs> 